Today I'm going to show you how to create and edit in the style of Louis Jova. You're going to need quite a few tabs open with different things. The first one being um, Google an image of a book page. Copy and paste it into a new document and um, <clears throat> duplicate your layer so you've got two of them. Okay, so we've reduced it down to a, a smaller size. We've duplicated that. All I'm doing here is creating a row. So I'm creating my background. So I'm dragging it down to the duplicate and then I'm dragging that page along. And I'll do that one last time. Just to speed things up, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the layers that we've got so far. And then we're going to go and um, create our merge layers. So once we've merged our layers, this will be easier because we can just drag that merge layer down. So that'll be a whole row of book pages there. We'll drag that down and then we can do the same. Keep dragging that one down to the duplicate and then we can merge those layers again. And then make sure everything's aligned until you've got a whole background. And we just need to do it one last time. Just getting rid of any white gaps. We don't want to have any white gaps in there. You're then going to need an image of a portrait, either one that you've taken or if you're doing an artist replica, one from the artist. And you're going to copy and paste that into your um, Photoshop. So I'm going to go to, I've already got mine pre-done. So I'm going to go to my image. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it into there. Now you want to enlarge this so it fills the whole page. So you're going to go to edit and transform and you're going to stretch it, make sure it's all aligned and it's not distorted. So it fills the whole of that page. So over the top of the book pages, press enter when you're done. We're going to now turn it black and white. So we're going to go to edit uh, image adjustments and then black and white. You can change around with the hue and saturation on there, different colors coming through. Um, however, you, it might be easier to go to image adjustments and then brightness and contrast and just change some of those brightness and contrast until you're happy. Don't make it too much at this stage. Once you're happy, click OK. To make it Louis Jova, what we want to do is down the side of the where our layers are, we're going to click on that normal button and click on the multiply so click on that you can see the book pages are coming through we just then need to um <clears throat> so you can see all those book pages you're then going to need to have some drips so i've just googled watercolor splash and copied that image so i've copied that image and paste it into my document and then i'm going to make it stretch to fill the whole page again so edit and transform and scale so it doesn't matter if this distorts slightly um because it's just going to be in the background it's just going to add a little bit extra once you're done press enter and then we're going to turn that black and white so we're going to go to image adjustments black and white you can change the contrast um on this as well so go to image adjustments brightness and contrast if you want it to pop out a little bit more or a little bit darker um, so you can mess around with those levels as well. Once you're done, click OK. And then we're going to go from normal to multiply again. So we can see there that it's just merged together and we can see it almost uh, coming through on the face there. I'm just going to drag that layer 2 down just below layer 1 so the face is becoming the prominent thing in the, in the Photoshop there. Okay. The next thing we need to do is actually add our drips. Now, I've done this pre-done where I've gone and got my drips from uh, Google and then I've got rid of the background so you'll need to use your magic one there okay I'm just selecting a drip so I've selected a section that I want and I've copied that I'm going to go back to my piece and I'm going to paste it in so make sure you've got your selection tool on you're going to paste that in make sure then that that layer with the, with the drip you're going to have that above layer one at the moment so that's the prominent one so you're able to move it so you're going to move it in position under the eye. Louis Jove does a lot of things under the eye. I've done edit transform and I'm going to stretch this. Hold down the shift key if you want it to uh, want to stretch it and distort it slightly. Might be a little bit thinner. When you're happy, 
click enter and you're going to go to change it from normal again and you're going to change it to your multiply again so it becomes part of the piece drag it below your layer one and it becomes part of it i'm going to go back and i'm going to go and select another bit another drip so i'm going to go to my selection tool which is like the little square and i'm going to select another section so this time i'm going to go for the reds and the oranges select your section copy go to your image paste you're going to go to your move tool make sure you move your layer above layer one go to your move tool and you're going to position it however you like <coughs> So make sure it's under the eye, it's not getting in the way of anything. You can move and delete some of the layers after uh, some of the bits that overlap with the eye afterwards. Go to multiply again, and you can keep moving it if you like to a, a better place, to however you like. Make sure then you drag that layer back under layer one. And you're going to continue this until you are happy. So you can see already we've got a couple of drips in there. So I'm just going to continue this until I've got my desired effect. So I'm going to go to my move tool. I'm going to go to select another drip. It's a smaller drip this time. Copy. Go back to my image. I'm going to paste it in. Move it above my layer. Go to my move tool. Move it in position. So I've gone to my edit transform and scale so i'm going to change the scale of it the size of it dragging it down don't worry if it looks a little bit like stretched because when you go to your normal and then multiply it will soon blend in with the rest of it so go to multiply and then you're going to move wherever you like make sure you're happy with it can't really see it there so I might just try it somewhere else when you're happy move your layer back down under the layer one and go and get some more drips so it's the same process each time go to your layer paste it in move your layer above Go to your move tool so you can move it. Go to your edit transform to drag it down. Press enter when you're done and make sure you put it on the multiply. So go from normal to multiply. Make sure you're happy with that. Move your layer back down underneath your layer one once you're happy. So it's a lot of repetition and the same kind of process. So if you zoom out a little bit, you can see how that's looking now. So I'm just moving a layer here because everything's behind that layer one. You need to make sure that if you wanted to move something again, you make sure you move it, put it back in front of that layer one so you can make it more prominent. I'm going to select another drip. Go back to my picture. just doing this on one eye just to show you but obviously you can do this on both eyes so go to multiply so you should have a range of different colored drips in there just so it's in the style of the artist. And notice I've got different levels of drip as well. Some are shorter, some are longer. Let's 
going back to that blue one now. So I'm going to move it near the layer above. Go to Edit Transform. Stretch it out. I'm going to make a really long one now. Make it a bit larger. Go to my drop down, click on multiply and that should change it. If there's a drip that you like and it's in the, in the, like, the right colour then you can multiply that layer and then move that as well. So I've made that drip a little bit thinner as well. So I'm having a look here at my layers, seeing which one I like. I particularly like the red one. So I'm just drag it down to the multiply. So duplicating that layer. Bring that layer 4 copy up above layer 1. And then I can move it. It's already got the multiply on it. I'm just going to stretch it so we can't see that it's the same drip. So I'm just going to stretch that. Enter when you're done. Once you're happy with all of that, drag that back down. I'm going to go and then we want to have some drips across the whole of the page as well. So I'm just going to use the same set of drips to create my background for that as well. So I'm going to go back to my image. I'm going to copy the whole image. And then I'm going to go back to my picture, I'm going to paste it in, I'm going to bring it to the front, so above layer 1 so it's prominent, I'm going to drag it to the top and I'm going to drag it down. So you might want to duplicate it or you might want to stretch it or play around with it, see what, see what works for you, what looks right. And then we're going to press enter when you're happy. And obviously we're going to multiply it. So it's going to become part of the picture. You can turn it black and white, see what it looks like. It might just merge into the background. Once you're happy with your outcome and you you know you you like the layout, you've added enough, you can go to adjustments, contrast, brightness, you can try that with your, your background colours. So I'm just playing around with my contrast there. You wanted to you can turn it black and white for this one it doesn't really work as well you can't really see it not as well as I wanted to so I'm just going to cancel that and once you are happy we're going to actually merge all these layers together so we actually need to flatten our image so we need to select all of our layers so hold down the shift key to select all of those layers we're going to back, cl back click and we're going to find flatten. That will just create one big piece. Okay. So make sure you unlock that layer. And then we're going to go to image adjustments again. And we're going to go to um, our brightness and contrast. This is where we'll really make it pop. So I'm just going to turn that up to make it really pop out the page. You can go back, you can add different things in, you can uh, change the saturation and colour of some bits if you are not happy. But this is how you do a piece in the style of Louis Jova on Photoshop or Photopia.